Here we have Keepers of the Kingdom Science Experiment for Day 3. We are going to be teaching the kids again about the physical realm and Isaac Newton's second law, which states that force equals mass times acceleration. Now I understand a lot of um, elementary kids aren't going to have algebra in this part to know how to manipulate the equ equation, so we're going to show them experimentally. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put down a piece of painter's tape on the floor, okay? And the kids are each going to have a little basket, and they're going to have different weights of objects. So I just chose a few. You can choose whatever you have. It really doesn't matter as long as the kids in each group have the same items. So the first thing you're going to do is put your lighter object in the little basket. You're going to put it on your start line, and the kids all together are going to give it a shove, and then they will mark with some more painter's tape how far that item went. So we'll just put it with the back corner. You can decide how you want to put those on. So you can look down the line of the kids, and some, some might have ended here, some might have ended here. And you can ask the question, well, if someone ended here, did they use more force or less force than the one that ended up here? And you can instruct them that if it goes farther, more force was used. And then you can just continue on with some different weights of objects, a little bit heavier masses. So as we increase the mass, if the kids are still shoving with the same force, the acceleration should be lower and it should not go as far. Oh, sure it didn't, did it? Okay, and then they would mark that. And you can also use um, heavier items. You could use a, a laundry basket and put in here maybe a bag of dog food or or you know, a gallon of water, whatever you have that's heavier, and then let them try with that. So this day, they're learning about changing masses, trying to keep their force the same, and what happens to the acceleration. All right, our second experiment for day three is pom-pom launchers. So you can get from shipping stores. Um, I actually went to somewhere that makes shipping boxes, and I bought these shipping tube, and then you're going to cut them down to be about five, six inches, OK? Then after you've cut them, you're going to put these eight little slits in here, and you want these slits to be at least a quarter inch deep. Are you able to see those slits in there? OK. What you're going to do then is you're going to take a zip tie, and you're going to close it, except you're going to leave a little loop at the end. OK? And you can tighten it up after you're finished. And what you're going to do there is you're going to put two rubber bands through this loop. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. On mine, I included one of these little hanging Roman shade rings. That's what they're called, Roman shade rings. These ones were 13 millimeters. Um, I got them. They're not expensive at all. But I used these because I thought that the rough edges of the zip tie might damage the rubber bands, and then the rubber bands are going to break, and then the kid's pom-pom shooter is going to break, and they'll be sad. I'm going to put that down through here. And I'm going to put the rubber bands through these slots. The two closest slots would be for one rubber band. And then just pull it tight. And then the other piece of that one on the other side. And then the other rubber band goes that way. So that it's going to look like this at the end. OK? So once that's done, I pull it a little bit to get these seated really well into those little notches. And then I chose to use some colored masking tape to put a ring around here so the rubber bands wouldn't be coming out, because I didn't know. I pre-prepped all of these ahead of time, and I didn't know how hard it would be for the kids to get their rubber bands back on. So then just took some colored tape, and it's going to look like this. So with this one, again, we're still talking about Newton's second law, which is force equals mass times acceleration. 
So you start out just having them pull down just a little bit, put their big pom-pom right on the top here, have them pull down just a little bit and see how high it goes. And then you have them do a little bit further and see if it goes any further up. Woo! Sure did, didn't it? And then you just let them go. What we did is we just let the kids have fun, and there they had it. That was day three of science.